Welcome back to another video on how to turn your boring old school desktop which is like this into something more professional and cool like this. Wow. Or maybe something for the holidays like this. Or a bit heavenly like this. Before we get started, I give a shout out to one random lucky subscriber in every video. So, shout out to Nishita Suresh and thank you for supporting. Nice. And now, let's get started. So, this would be anybody's normal desktop. First, we'll remove all these icons on the desktop and then we'll proceed downwards and remove all these icons on the taskbar. So, let's begin. So, to remove the icons on the desktop, we basically have two methods. First method would be to right click on the desktop, go to view and untick show desktop icons. By this, you can remove all the icons on your desktop. In case you have some icons and documents on the desktop which you need to access regularly, that is when the second method becomes useful. So if you guys had observed carefully, you could have seen this arrow mark at the top left corner of my screen, which is nothing but a folder having all the important documents which I have to access regularly. So method two would be to move all your icons and documents into a folder and conceal it. To do this, right click and go to personalize, then click on themes and then select desktop icon settings and then untick recycle bin and any other desktop icons if they are ticked over there. So that should get rid of all the default icons on the desktop. Now let's create a folder and move all the icons and documents into it. Create a new folder and then copy and paste the text in the description box below in the video to get that blank space below the folder. Once that is done, select all the icons and documents, right click and drag them to the folder and click on move here. That should move all the documents to that folder. Now let's change the icon of the folder. Right click on the folder and go to properties. Click on the customize tab and then click on change icon and select the preferred icon you want for the folder. So I basically like the aroma which looks elegant over my desktop. To resize the icon, click on it, hold control and then use the scroll on your mouse to make it large or small. So that completes the two methods. Now let's move on to the taskbar. Right click on the taskbar and then start unticking everything you see. Once you have unticked everything, then go to news and interest and click on show icon only. Similarly, do the same for the search bar also. So both of them show only the icon and not the text. Then right click on the taskbar and go to taskbar settings. So here turn off lock the taskbar option so you can edit the taskbar and then head down and turn on use small taskbar button so the icons in your taskbar are a bit smaller. And this already makes your taskbar look more professional. Later on head to the colors option and select light or dark depending on your preferences. I would personally advise you to pick dark because it looks a bit more elegant and also it's a bit less stressful on your eyes. Next up would be the transparency effects and the accent color. I would personally switch on the transparency effects because the taskbar looks more neat with it and the accent color is definitely your preference. I would personally prefer blue because it goes well with the dark theme. You could select your own vibrant colors as you like. So the last step would be to remove the labels which come along with the icons in the taskbar. To do this, head back to the taskbar settings and click on always hide labels. So this hides the labels and only the icons remain. Next up would be to hide all the real time icons on the bottom right of the screen. To do this, just drag all the icons into the arrow marks so it all goes into the default box. You can keep the ones which you feel important or you can just drag them all into the box. Next up would be to move all the icons to the center of the taskbar. To do this, right click on the taskbar and make sure your taskbar is unlocked first. Next step would be to right click on the taskbar, go to the toolbars and click on links. This would give you two lines on the taskbar as shown. Hold the lines and drag them all the way to the left so all your icons come to the right. Once they are all on the right, use the same technique and drag them all the way to the center. Uh, I think somewhere over here would be fine. Later on, remove the link and the text and then lock the taskbar. 
next step would be to make your taskbar transparent for that head to the windows store and search for something called as translucent db once you have downloaded it run the program it will make your taskbar transparent now that the desktop looks a lot neat let's put up a live wallpaper so it looks a bit more professional head to stem and download wallpaper engine I have already got it installed so I just launch it and show it to you. The wallpaper engine is a paid software and it costs nearly $4. However, I would be doing a giveaway for 3 lucky subscribers in the upcoming next 3 videos. So just subscribe and participate in the free giveaway. And there you go guys, you have a very young professional and clear looking desktop now. You can also choose between a variety of live wallpapers in the application so it's worth buying. And lastly. Most of you watching my content haven't subscribed to the channel. I know you guys are loving what you're seeing and I know you guys want the same. So please do consider subscribing. It would be really helpful and supportive for me too. And one more thing guys, you can even unpin and pin the icons you want in the taskbar according to your preferences. That's it for this one. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Do it! Nice to own a jet plane, do it!